Let's roll into the FHA guidelines, the Federal Housing Administrative Guidelines, um, you know, where you can put three and a half percent down on a two to four multifamily property as an owner occupied person. There's some pretty significant changes coming. Yeah, it, it, it definitely is to the, to the rental income that you can use to qualify for the mortgage. So one of the cool features about an FHA mortgage is if you buy a multifamily, you only have to put three and a half percent down, you get the same rate that you would be if you're buying a single family house. Yep. However, if you need the rental income to qualify for the loan, meaning the rent that you're going to receive from the other units or, yeah. or units that you get that you got uh, that you're looking to buy, then um, you could normally you could do it where you would you, we could count 75% of the market rent of that other unit. So if the other unit was $1,200 a month in rent, we would be able to use 900 of it as application income to help you qualify for the payment. Yep. This is what happened pre-COVID. Since COVID's happened, FHA has got a little stricter about the rental income. As of August 12th, again, that 12th date is uh, the, the new date for both of these guideline changes. We have to take essentially an extra 25% off the market rent. So instead of 900, it's- uh, 450. It's, uh, no, it's oh, 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 1200 oh. bucks a month in market rent. Instead of 900 that we can use for application, now we have to use 600. Okay, so it's, but it's basically 50% of the market rent. Basically a roundabout way is 50% of the market rate, which is what the number that I'm using to help people get pre-approved. In addition to that, if the borrower does have six months of reserves, we can use the higher rental income. If you have six months reserves, they, they'll, they'll use 75% of the rental income that, uh, that, that brings, that, that's the market rent for the property that you're looking to buy. Now, some people are refinancing. So some people are refinancing to an FHA loan uh, for one reason or another. And if that's the case, they also have to verify that they received uh, two previous two uh, the previous two months in rental payments as evidenced by the borrower's bank statements showing the, the deposit. Honestly, at the end of the day, you know, if you need to use projected rental income to qualify, um, that's kind of, kind of tight. I really like to get people in there without having any rental income at all. That shows that they're a really strong buyer and that they're prepared for any sort of vacancies or anything like that because they don't need the rental income to make the payment. So that's like a really uh, safe mortgage to do is without rental income. And if you're not using the rental income, none of this matters anyways. Yeah. But nonetheless, there are certain situations where you need the rental income to qualify. So it's good to know that this is gonna get reduced from what it normally is.